Today we're going to Wabitos. You have to see this. There's like a little tiny. What is this? Uh, waterway. I guess. A little, little tiny waterway here, and each of them, of these houses, have their own bridge access to the beach. So cool. So we are here. We're, you can see Coral Island from here. So what we did one day was we took a boat and we went to Coral Island. We got some fish. And then we passed Crab Rock, which you, you can see right there. We're walking along the beach and there's all these pelicans and boats. It's an outdoor fish market right here on the beach. Come see. So we just got done walking along the beach. It was fabulous. So many people are on holiday here, a lot of the locals. And so now we're gonna actually go up one road to the, to the front of all these hotels and restaurants and go walk the main strip and see all the vendors and such. to eat some lunch or our second breakfast we should say and we found this gorgeous little hotel and swimming pool right off the beach 
where it was getting a little bit toasty out there. So we're having a nice little meal. Kids are able to use the pool and there's a little playground as well. And if you want to find this place, you just got to look for the big shark. You can see him from the beach. amazing day we're a little tired right we've been at the beach all day walking the restaurants and the strip so we get home and we have the federales staying in our RV park. Federale convention. It's a convention they're having here and there's about 150 to 200 federales here so they've set up in this plaza over here you can see behind me a That's kitchen. Where eating, yeah. yeah and so so they come here all throughout the day. Men just keep walking all uniformed up. It's the craziest thing. You gotta look at them and think they're so hot, right? Like Automatic they're burning weapons, up. yeah. Yeah, because it's hot outside, right? Sure. But anyways, this is just how Mexico rolls, right? So I went over there and I asked them, listen, you're making some food. Can I pay you a little bit of money and have what you're eating? And they're like, of course. So dinner tonight for to feed all of us cost 150 pesos, which is equivalent to about $8. We get to have their fresh fruit food. Their, uh, tomorrow, apparently, it's like tacos and something else. So they serve one meal a day, and we get to eat for the next three days with them. <laughs> Only in Mexico, but it's so nice. Maybe America should do something like this too, hey? Yep, we've got our I restaurants know. in our backyard. I know, it's awesome. Good deal. All right, and speaking of agua de, what is this one, guava. So in Mexico, guayaba. Ga guayaba. Uh, so in Mexico, they make, they take fruit and they make fruit water. So you can get Jamaica water, pina water. This is guava water, strawberry water. And Christian, catch up with Christian. He's going to teach you how they make agua water or agua de fruta in Mexico. So stay tuned. Hey, it's catch up with Christian, and today I'm going to show you how to make local style Jamaica water. All right, so to make Jamaica water, you need one cup of dried up Jamaica flowers, one part, four cups of water, a strainer, a big measuring cup, a little measuring cup, one cup of sugar, and finally a pitcher. Okay, so first you're gonna put the one cup of dried up Jamaica flowers into the pot. And we're gonna boil. All right, it just started boiling, so we're gonna let it boil for about seven to 10 minutes with the flowers. So now you can see it is finished. You can see all of the flowers have let all of their juice out. Okay. And now I'm going to pour it into, now I'm gonna strain them. subscribe in, in three seconds. You ready? Three, two, one, done. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do to our channel so then you don't miss any of our videos. Here goes the sugar. All right, now make sure it gets dissolved. Pour in the pitcher. Time to pour in 
some water into the into the measuring cup. Just to fill up the difference. Now to try it. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to show you how to find hermit crabs and how to take care of them. And don't forget to like and leave a comment down below and also hit the region station button so that then you don't miss any of our videos.